All right, we're here at Target, and I wanted to check the clearance stuff real quick. They have a big end cap of video game and electronic stuff. I just wanted to kind of poke through. I'm looking at the games. I see a lot of games, but a lot of times these aren't really clearance. Like, see this one here doesn't really have any kind of clearance price on it. So you really can't count that they're always on clearance, even if they're on the, the clearance end cap. Um, there are a lot of phone cases. Don't really need that. Uh, what else I got here? There's some clearance. Well, I guess some movies and stuff. Don't even really know all these. Uh, let's see, clearance phone case. No. What is this thing here? Oh, is this like one of those fitness bands? That's interesting. Um, clearance $55. I don't know how clearancy that is, but not bad. Looks like a pretty cool phone case, but it's Apple. I don't use Apple at all. Oh, they're really getting rid of Twilight. I seen this last time, I think, or a different. It was a different Target store, maybe, but yeah, 38 bucks. Interesting. And let's see some little no-name games. Bunch of stuff on the floor here. Sonic Rider, Bluetooth in-car speakerphone. Interesting. 35 bucks. That might be kind of cool. What else? I guess these fitness bands really are going out of style, man. Like now, these are in clearance too. They're trying to get rid of all the stuff. Nothing too major here today. Um, I mean, a big stack of stuff, but a lot of this stuff is really not clearance. Like some of these, well, I guess these movies are clearance. Okay, well, maybe. Let's see, Sims. What else we got? Target security, Apple, $62. Oh, that's interesting. It's a really expensive case. And clearance price really isn't that great either. Hmm. Man, I paid full price for this. And I really, I couldn't get past the beginning of it, too. Um, I probably need to play more of that. I bought it for Wii U, though. Okay, it's great to see Target actually does have some pretty good Nebos. I mean, they have the new ones. They have Daisy. I guess everyone's gearing up for Black Friday. They have one of Rosalita, which is not the same as the original, by the way. It's missing the star. Um, it's cool for reprint, you know, but it's not quite the one. Um, other new stuff, let's see. They still have one more of this Animal Crossing. I kind of feel like some of these should be clearance, maybe. Like this one here was clearance. I'm gonna scan this and try and find out and see if that's clearance anymore. Because maybe some of these other ones are clearance too and they're just not priced. Like um, this is really cute if this was clearance, but I, I don't think it is clearance. We'll find out. Um, other stuff, they do have Wario, which is cool. It's, it's like they have one of each of these newer ones. Like they have one of that, one of that, one of that, one of that. I almost feel like I should buy them, but if I'm gonna buy them, I'd probably get them at GameStop. Let's check the price on that one. Okay, so we got the scanner here. And let's see if this is clearance. This was like 388 or something. Let's see what it rings up for. Uh, no. It looks like it went back up in price. How weird. We'll try this one too. This one, I don't think this was clearance, but we'll find out. Yeah, $8.99. It actually looks like those went up in price. That's really weird. I still like the fact that Target has these like little nook areas, shopping to shops for Star Wars, Walking Dead, all this type of stuff. Um, I did notice that my GameStop, my fair one, actually had a Think Geek stand, which is fantastic. I hope they expand upon that. I didn't buy anything like Think Geek, but I was thinking about it actually, uh, like a blanket or something. I wish I got more Blizzard products in. The Target has a really good deal with their app. You actually get 30% off, including Pokemon stuff, which is pretty awesome. Although it looks like a lot of the new stuff here is selling out. I did manage to grab one of these though, so this looks really awesome big set with the actual figure which is cool although the figure requires a stand which is kind of bad but I'll take it though anyway but this very last one includes a pin too so really nice set if you can find those and then check this out they got Mario Kart this is kind of bizarre it's like a backpack buddy keychain but look how huge it is that's like gigantic okay on the clearance sink cap here there's actual Animal Crossing cards I'm gonna try a few of these and see if they actually ring up a clearance if they do that'd be pretty cool um, a lot of cool stuff on here. Oh, I do notice this. I did a review of this on Tux Reviews, and actually a lot of people were saying you could find these at the dollar store for like a dollar, you know? Um, that's a really good deal, because actually I like this product, and I still use this to this day. The review's on the Tux Reviews channel, but um, they have it for this price here, 906, which isn't that good of a deal, really, but for a dollar, it's a great deal. 
Star Wars toys, lots of cool stuff. Oh, Chibi. Wow, 1998. That is so expensive. I think, I want to say we got this for like 10 bucks or something. I feel like they almost raised their clearance prices right now. All right, let's see what these scan up for, see if they're actually on clearance or not. Uh, $5.99, no, nope, normal price. All right, friends, Tex here. I'm at Toys R Us right now, and it looks like everyone is getting into the Pokemon Spirit today with a special buy one, get one 40% on all Pokemon stuff, so that's kind of cool, actually. Um, they do have the Z-Ring. I don't know how great this is. Like, I think they're just trying to make money off the Yokai Watch model, where they have a watch that you wear, and it lights up and does things or whatever. I think, as far as I can tell, and let me know, I haven't really looked in too much into this. Basically, it lights up and it syncs with your 3DS, but it doesn't really do anything as far as I can tell. Like, you don't press the button and get like a Mega Evolve or something. I'm, I'm not really sure about that. If you have feelings about this one way or the other, let me know in the comments down here. But I don't know, like I want to buy one, but I kind of don't know. Like, I've tossed it in the cart here already and I've taken it out of the cart. So, boy, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's $29, you know, so it's not like super expensive. And buy one, get one 40 is kind of cool too. Um, but I don't know, interesting. Like I'm gonna throw in the cart, I may not buy this. I'm, I'm really undecided about this one. Um, I am looking for the um, Pokemon 20 for November. And I've not seen the Gensync ball and figure set. I did talk to GameStop and they were saying it was not an exclusive, only the plushie. So you think it'd be here, but I'm just not seeing it. It seems like there is no Gensick anywhere. Okay, so they have the collector vector stuff here on Salad Toys R Us. And one thing that's really cool is on the side here, they actually have kind of like an anime-ish type thing. Check out, they got little Junior Sailors, they got Mega Man, Dragon Ball Z, lots of cool stuff. Um, got some little Gundam stuff here, very cool, more anime related. So it's great they're actually starting to embrace some of the anime otaku figures and that kind of thing. Love it. Hopefully they'll continue to expand upon that. And I'd love to see some more of these for some different series, even beyond what they have right now. But it's really cool they have it. So I salute you, Toys R Us. Excellent job. All right, well, looks like Warcraft has now moved into the section of collector stuff back in video games. And there isn't much left, but you can see they got the one for $12.98, which is a pretty good price. But I'm still missing that one figure set. And it's really actually to the girl and the main bad guy and it's really bugging me I don't have it. So I did see Target actually had an online advertisement for it, but I didn't buy it just because I didn't want to order and pay shipping and everything. But anyway, I'm still looking, but it's cool they have all this stuff. I can't believe they really expand upon this. I mean, Aliens, Freddy, Godzilla, so much cool stuff. Um, a little sock boy. Is he so popular? Is that a thing? Is there is there a PS4 one? I'm not even sure. I know PS3, he was kind of cool, and I really enjoyed the games. I don't think I have a PS4 Little Big Planet, though, but fun concept. Just really hard to design the levels. I so wanted to make a Dofus level, and then I wasn't able to. Dofus is an MMO I used to play, and it'd be so much fun to make one, but it was, it was a lot of trouble actually making the level. It was very hard compared to, like, Mario Maker, but very cool, though. Over here, we got lots of pops. Lots of cool stuff. I like these big plushie pops. That's pretty cool. So it's cool they're expanding upon this even more. And it's great that stores are kind of target, this store, you know, GameStop, store after store is continuing to embrace like collectors of this kind of stuff. So that is really cool. Like that makes me happy. Just hopefully they'll have this type of stuff on sale too, you know? Okay, so World of Warcraft is back here. For some of it, I think some is in a different location. Uh, but check out, it is clearance still. They did move the end cap back to the way back of the store where no one's really shopping. But they are $12.98, which is a pretty good price. They still don't have the ones I need though, unfortunately. Um, but I'm gonna try not to rant on that too much. Um, although I'm really tempted to, because it really bugs me. I got two more to go, I have to get them. Um, but the prices continue to drop five ninety eight, not too bad. They have mixed in some Halo, Walking Dead, some other stuff too, which is okay, I guess. As this stuff sells down, they have to do something. But God, I wish they had the ones I need. Ugh. Lots of deals here too for the Marvel Legends. Um, I still haven't seen Doctor Strange, so I'm kind of curious if you guys seen it, if you liked it, that kind of thing. If it's worth checking out, please let me know in the comments. Also, I haven't seen the, um, what is it, Beautiful Creatures, Furious Creatures, Mysterious Creatures, uh, that thing, yeah. The Harry Potter movie. I love Harry Potter, um, but I, I'm not real up about this new movie. I hear it's good, but if you have any feelings one way or the other, please let me know in the comments below as well. Um, but Harry Potter was awesome, you know. Looks like, oh, there's a Doctor Strange one there. Okay, that's cool. Looks like they're starting to get some figures for it. So I think the movie's good. Pretty sure. Okay, so at Toys R Us, checking out this, <laughs> look at this. There's a Game of Thrones like wall display. I've never seen this before actually. 
Um, I know there's a new Game of Thrones coming out. I'm sure it'll be a big when it comes out, but check it out. It's like a little place that you actually get like a little Lan uh, Lannister, and then you get the wall, the ice wall, that you can pose people on. Pretty funny, actually. That's a Funko product. I hope Funko makes more cool little themed like TV show things like that. Pretty awesome, actually. I'm still digging these X-File ones. I kind of like to get this molder. Um, it's a good deal for $13, but I just I don't have a collection of these right now, so I haven't dived into it. But I do like them. I do not like these little X-File guys down here, though. These look just goofy. I don't know. These don't. They don't look right at all. Not a fan. Um, but I would like to see more X-File stuff, and I hope there's going to be new X-Files coming out later next year, because I do like that show a lot. And I'm also kind of pumped with all this alien stuff. There's been, like, lots of alien, Walking Dead... Lots of cool toys coming out, so they're definitely stocking up for the holidays. I'm actually pretty pumped about the Star Wars movie. Like, I'm hoping it's going to be good. I see lots of toys, but the toys are really, like, not just Rogue One. It seems like a lot of them are just kind of, like, random Star Wars toys. So hopefully the movie's good. I like Forza a lot, and I think it's pretty cool that Hot Wheels is actually making, like, a Forza Hot Wheels, like, set. I bought quite a few of these individual cars, which I'll probably show in some future car video down the road at some point. Um, I tend to save up cars and do one video... Not that frequently though, but this is really cool though. I'm digging this set. I hope they do more sets like that. Maybe have them for Gran Turismo and other similar things. So, very cool. Hey friends, I'm at Best Buy now. And actually I wanted to show you, they have a pretty good selection of Nebos. I wish they had like a better deal. Like they have some on sale for nine, which is okay. I mean, check out, they got the new ones in quantity. They got Boo, they got Wario, they got Daisy, Luigi. I mean, pretty good selection. Uh, probably one of the best selections I've seen actually. So it might be something worth considering if you're looking for some of these ones you don't have yet. I'm not sure if that was an exclusive or not. I think one time it might have been. I think now it's not. But anyway, pretty cool selection. Dig it. Hats off to uh, Best Buy. Good job. The South Miami Best Buy here has a pretty good selection of computer hardware stuff. In fact, they have like some. They have one display case here, which is pretty cool. They have a SUS kind of a semi rig here. Um, this is actually a Cyber Power PC. Um, kind of plain on the outside, but it does have the red light, which is kind of cool, as you can see. Um, this monitor isn't the good ASUS monitor that was out like a month or two ago that I really want. Not the, it's not the ROG one, but you can see it's pretty nice looking, pretty cool. And this is interesting. It's a little Razer keyboard. Very heavy. This really feels like the Allura keyboard that I reviewed a while back. It's like a very small, mechanical, uh, professional keyboard. Um, this one does have backlighting, which is pretty cool, though, which I'm actually digging this keyboard. Um... I may have to pick one of these up. <laughs> it's pretty nice, actually. I like, check out the, it has a cool glow underneath the keys. So the keys light up, but it does have a great, like, ambiance, kind of like behind the keys, which I really do like that, actually. Um, little mouse to go along with it. But anyway, pretty cool. I was really looking for that ROG monitor, that Republic of Gaming monitor, but it's not here right now. They just have this G245 monitor, so not today, anyway. Pretty good display of Xbox One and PlayStation 4 stuff. What I wanted to show you is actually over here, though. Check it out. They actually have one of these Gears of War uh, replica, like, gun knife things. Um, I wish it was clear so I could see what it looks like. I might almost want to buy it. I don't know how much it costs. Um, it looks like it's probably... Is that it there? 59 No, that can't be it. I don't know, man. There's no price, but uh, very interesting. Gears of War. Finally, video cards. Here's that 1070. This is not the EVGA one that I reviewed. This is another one, but it's the same GeForce GTX 1070, but it's on a super clocked edition. They have it for 449, which is still higher than what I paid, and I have the, the super clocked one, so I think I still got a better deal. People asked about the 1080. You can get the 1080, but the 1080 is going to bring you up to about 700 bucks. So personally, for performance versus price, I'm still leaning towards the 1070 overclocked. Um, there's some EVGA stuff, a 950 here, there's a 1060 here. I mean, there's some different options for you, which is really cool. But anyway, be sure to check it out at Best Buy. Um, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.